back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome to a unboxing. Today I will be unboxing a ton of um, subscription boxes. I have a few uh, Owl Crate, I have a few Fairy Loot, and I have an Illumicrate box. So I figured I would just come together and unbox them all instead of doing them in my book haul, just so that my book haul is a little bit shorter. And I'm not doing vlogs right now, so I figured this would be a perfect video to kind of mesh it all together. I am a rep for both Fairy Loot and um, Owl Crate. Uh, I will leave all of the information down in the description box below as well as discount codes that I have down in the description box below. But without further ado and uh, without a long intro, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Fairy Loot boxes that were from last month because I did not get to open them on camera. So let me go ahead and open these. Um, this is the ver regular Fairy Loot and then I also have the adult Fairy Loot box, the adult only book box. Um, so I have opened this box, but I don't really remember everything that's inside of it. So this, like I said, is the April 2022 box, and the theme for this month was bittersweet. Um, the first thing in here is an additional book, um, An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. R. Pan, who is the author of um, The Astonishing Color of After. I don't know what this is about. Uh, Hunter Yi has perfect aim with a bow and arrow, but all else in his life veers off course. Haunted by his family's past mistakes, the only thing keeping him from running away are his younger brother. Are his younger brother. That's a weird way to put that, okay? A supernatural wind and a bewitched girl at his new school. Luna Chang dreads the future. Graduation looms ahead and her parents, her parents' expectations are stifling. Then her life is turned upside down by the strange new boy in her class. The unearthly fireflies that follow her around and an ominous crack that begins to spread across the town of Fairbridge. As Hunter and Luna navigate the feud between their families and uncover hidden secrets, everything around them begins to fall apart. All they can depend on is their love, but time is running out and fate will have its way. Interesting. It does have beautiful blue sprayed edges. I believe it's also signed by the author. So it's a really cool extra book to have. We also have a little tray in here. Um, a hair is on it. Uh, it looks like this is inspired by The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Very pretty. One of my favorite books, so I'm glad to have that. We also have the playing cards that um, were in the in the March box that uh, they sent him late because they didn't come in time to send them. So I haven't opened these yet. I have no idea what they look like. And I also don't know what they are inspired by because it's not on the spoiler card because it's from last month's box. So let's take a look. Oh, it's inspired by Only a Monster, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Six Crimson Cranes, and uh, Jade Fire Gold. Ooh, these are really pretty. Ooh, these are gorgeous. They have like gilded red edges, very pretty. The ace is not inspired by anything in particular, but I did see some really cool art for the jack, the queen, and the king. I don't know if there's jokers in this. Oh, it looks like they are different on each one. So the jack, the queen, and the king. Uh, these are the art for the Jack, Queen, and King on this one. I believe I'm missing one. Hold on. Should be one more set of Jack, Kings, and Queens. There they are. That's what those ones look like. Those are very pretty. I will definitely get some use out of these. I love a good playing card. I have not yet had one in a subscription box yet, so this is perfect. I will definitely use these. It looks like we have a Strange the Dreamer pin, which looks like this. It is very pretty. I still have not read this book, even though I really need to, but we do love a good pin. We have a, a box of heart fairy lights. I don't know how much of a mess it's gonna mess mess it's gonna make, but I do want to show you. Um, that's what they look like. They're very cute. I don't use fairy lights very often, but it could be good for like an Instagram photo or something. Uh, then we have the book and a little bin down here. Hold on. Oh, also the tarot cards. All right, this little bin does like, I think it pops. In. Let's see. It does pop out, but it's kind of stuck in there. This is what the bin looks like. It says, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind? The Ishwab. It looks like it's inspired by the Invisible Life of Abby LaRue, which we love. And then these are the tarot cards for the month. We have the High Priestess and the Emperor. That's what the backs look like. They did change the backs, so I believe they started a whole new set for the tarot cards. I can put all this stuff in this little basket. Very handy dandy. And then we have the book. Has some pretty straight edges from what I can see. We have the fairy scoop. We have this very gorgeous art print with a letter from the author. Oh, and then we have the book, which is Blood Scion. I do already have a copy of this one. I have an Owl Crate edition that came as a um, book only 
special edition, but it does have some really gorgeous sprayed edges there. Um, it's also signed. I love the end papers on that. That is gorgeous. And then, oh, it's absolutely stunning underneath. Uh, without the dust jacket, it has the gorgeous cover on the front. And there's also some under the dust jacket art. So, wow. Way to go, Fairy Loot. Very gorgeous. I do now own two copies of this, so I'll have to read it and see if I need two copies. But it is a gorgeous addition. Um, I am the descendants of Sheng Ho, the god of heart and fire. Of heat and fire, I'm sorry. I am a living inferno. I'm a dead girl walking. Interesting. Um, I don't know too much about this one. It sounds good. It looks good. It's written by a black author about black characters, so I will definitely be giving this one a read. And quickly to go over the spoiler card, the um, quote and the tray is inspired by the Night Circus. The Constellation Canvas Basket is inspired by The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue um, and designed by Blanca Designs. The Heart Lights are not inspired by anything, but they are designed by the Fairy Loot team. The Tarot Cards for the month are inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan. And the pen is inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lenny Taylor and designed by Jez Hawk. So, cool stuff. All right, let's move on to the adult box. Thank you so much to Fairly for sending these to me, by the way. I'm very, very grateful to uh, have the adult box in my hands. I'm very excited for this. I don't read a lot of adult fantasy, but I figured if the subscription box is like, you know, figuring out which ones I should read, then it would be a good option since I don't really know or keep up with um, adult fantasies as much as I do YA fantasies. So I'm excited about this one. We do have a little um, thingy. I can't think of what this is called. Um, but it just tells you that what the book is about and the month that you got it in. And the book for this month is The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. Gorgeous edition. It has beautiful black sprayed edges. Um, some really gorgeous end papers. No under the dust jacket art, but absolutely stunning embossing on the front so really really gorgeous again i don't know what this is about this is like i said an adult fantasy the four realms life and death light and darkness all converge on the city of dusk ruled by the four nobles house of nixus but the gods have withdrawn their favor and from the once vibrant and thriving city and without it all the realms are dying are willing to stand by and watch the destruction of the four heirs risha a necromancer struggling to keep the peace angelica an elementalist with her eyes set on the throne Taisa, a shadow-wielding rogue with rebellion in her heart, and Nick, a soldier who struggles to see the light, will sacrifice everything to save the city, but the defiance will cost them dearly. Interesting. The City of Dusk is a first in a sweeping epic fantasy trilogy set on a gorgeous world of dramatic, of dark magic, vengeful gods, and rebellious chosen ones. That sounds really good. The quote on the back says, for each realm there is a god, and for each god there is an heir. Ooh. It does also come with a ribbon, I can't grab it, a ribbon bookmark, which is awesome. I am really excited for this one and hopefully I love it. All right, I am moving on to Illumicrate. I am not a rep for Illumicrate, but I do order them because I like their book boxes. So the uh, May Illumicrate uh, theme is in the dark. That's what it looks like. This is what the back looks like and the rest of it is just spoilers. So I'll get back to that. We have some paper. Uh, the NYX Goddess of Night uh, collectible teacup and there's also a saucer that goes with this so let me open this up I believe this is the second one in their new oh maybe third one in their collection but they're inspired by the Greek goddesses this one is obviously NYX uh, let's see and this is what the saucer looks like very pretty two of them together I love it it's so cute we have um, this whatever this is there's nothing on it so I guess we'll find out together Oh, cool. It is a replica sword. I like these. It's just, I never know what to do with them. I do think they're really cool though. This looks like it might be inspired by Crescent City. I'll have to double check, but this is what it looks like. It's the same on both sides. Very pretty. Uh, it reminds me of the sword that they talk about in uh, House, of Sky House of Earth and Blood. So we shall see when we get to that one, if I am correct. We also have this. Sounds like it's a necklace. I was wrong. It's a bookmark. Very pretty bookmark. That's what it looks like. Very gorgeous. It doesn't say what, ins what it's inspired by, so I'll have to look into that in a little bit. It's very flimsy, which is a very a little uh, worrisome, but then I'm going to mess it up, not anything else. But I'm just afraid I'm going to bend it or something, but it is very nice. Then we also have a notebook, it looks like. It has some 
per I'm sorry, black sprayed edges. If I can get it open, that would be fantastic. There we go. Looks like it's inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. I physically cannot open it. It is a black dot grid notebook, which is actually very cool. I love that. And it says, how dark the night which stretches before us, yet ablaze with the light of the moon and stars. It feels bright as day. Sue Lin Tan. That's what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. It does have a little spot for your pen or pencil. There's also a thingamabob here for um, the top of this. I don't know what it's called. but uh, And there's also a pocket on one side. And yeah, it's just a black dot grid notebook. So this will come in handy when I'm getting back into bullet journaling. And then lastly, we have the book, which also has black spray edges. It's a theme. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Okay, The Book of Night by Holly Black. Oh wow, I did not even think that this was going to be in this box and I'm very excited that it is because I did not pre-order myself a copy. Oh my goodness, even your shadow can be stolen. I know nothing about this book and I want to kind of keep it that way. I kind of want to go in a little bit blind and see what my experience has to hold for me. All right, this is what the end papers look like. Very gorgeous and a stunning embossing on the front and the back of this book. Uh, the first one is in a language I do not know. Liber Noctem. I'm guessing maybe Latin. And then the back says, Charlie Hall at her best when doing her worst. When she tried to create something, it broke apart in her hands. Unnearing instinct for goodness. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Um, I like the black sprayed edges. I think this is going to be a really cool one. I've heard good things. Hopefully, Holly Black's dip into adult fantasy is uh, successful. I enjoyed the Cruel Prince trilogy, um, the Folk of the Air series, but it wasn't my absolute favorite, so we'll have to see if I like this one enough. <laughs> and then the spoiler card. Oh, you know what? It was not from House of Earth and Blood. The da Dagger rap Replica is from Nevernight by J. Kristoff. The Teacup and Saucers inspired by Nyx, the Goddess of Night. The Dark of the Night Blackout Journal is inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And the Monstrous Metal Bookmark is inspired by Monstrous and designed by Danielle. Danielle. That is it. So let's move on to some more boxes. We have Owl Crate and then one Fairly box left. Up next are the two Owl Crate boxes. I am a rep for Owl Crate and I do have a discount code. I will leave it in the description box below. So thank you to Owl Crate for sending this over to me. This is the May box and the uh, theme this month is the Chosen Ones. See a big box first so i'm gonna open that looks like it's inspired by um the lord of the rings the ceramic bowl which we already have one that i believe that came in this set this is what this one looks like it says courage is found in unlikely places i don't know if it's actually lord of the rings but it looks like it is to me it looks like the hobbit house it's cute i don't have any attachment to that series in any way shape or form but it's always cool to get fun things like this all right we have the next luggage enamel pin from their new collection and let's see Ooh, very pretty this is inspired by throat of glass love it you know i love any sarah j mass anything it does say terrison on there with the um elk i forget if that's what they call it the deer something like that we have something inspired by the darker shade of magic. It says, treat yourself with London with this beautiful wooden wall banner inspired by a darker shade of magic. <gasps> I can't open it. There it goes. Oh, interesting. If I feel like if I take it out of this box, I'm never going to be able to get it back in, but I will do it for you. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, God. Oh, it says Atravas, which is the, the words that you need to say in order to travel to the different Londons, I believe. I could be wrong about that. It's been a long time since I read this, but this is very cool. Definitely has the feel of a darker shade of magic. I like it. It's probably going to get tangled, but I like it nonetheless. <laughs> the next thing we have is a exclusive pen set inspired by the Song of Achilles. And the quote on the box says, he has, he is half of my soul, as the poet says. And that's what the pens look like very cute i do love a good pen so i will take it i'm not gonna take it out of the box but very cute we have what looks like a tote bag maybe let's see it is not a tote bag uh, maybe um 
checkers or chess. It looks like checkers. A portable checkers board. That's actually kind of cool. You've never seen anything like it before. I do not know what it's inspired by. It says the head is two Y's and the heart is all fire. Very cool. I'll have to check the spoiler card to figure out who inspired that, but I like it. I don't play chess very often, but it could be fun to have. I do like that you can just wrap it up and take it with you if you like. We have a very beautiful bookmark. It says, you may not be able to change the past, but with each action, you can change the future. June Seal Tan. And then on the back, it says, one must not fear fire to wield it. I like that. I always love a good bookmark. We have the theme for next month, which is of romance and rivalry. That's what it looks like. Uh, every June box will include an exclusive design by Riddles and Ravens. Very, very cool. Uh, we have the um, thingamabob for the book. And then the book itself is Ballad and Dagger, the Outlaw Saints novel. An Outlaw Saints novel by Daniel Jose Older. We do also have an art print and a letter from the author there. This is what the cover looks like. I do love this cover. Absolutely stunning. This is what the back looks like. Lots of blurbs from different authors. Ooh, the end papers are pretty. That's what the end paper look like. Very gorgeous. I don't know if it's the same. It's the same on both sides. There is also some embossing here on the front. Looks like it's in a language that I cannot, uh, oh, it says has, has translation. Listen to the world, to your own heart, your spirit, your song. Very pretty. And then on the back it says, every song has its beating heart. Very pretty. And it also has some under the cover dust jacket art. It looks like it is also reversible if you would like to change it up. We do love that. Uh, with one thing, the world begins. With one thing, the world ends. And it says it in, well, it looks like Spanish. Very cool. It is, of course, also signed. And this book says, almost 16 years ago, Mateo um, Matthias's island homeland disappeared into the sea. Weary and hopeless, the survivors of San Madriel escaped to New York, where the rest of his tight-knit Brooklyn dysphoria community dreams of someday finding a way back home. Mateo, now a high school junior with piano and a piano prodigy, prodigy living with his two aunts one who's alive the other who's not so much is forced is focused on one thing getting the attention of a locally grown music legend legend Derville. Mateo finally gets his chance on the night of the grand fete an annual party celebrating the blighted cultures of pirates um santeros and sephardim to create san madrego all those centuries ago but the evil that sank their island has finally caught up with them. On the night of the celebration, Mateo's life is forever changed when he witnesses a brutal murder committed by the person he thought he knew. Suddenly, Mateo is thrust into action, into an action battle that spans years and seas. As deadly secrets unravel, Mateo awakens a power within himself, a power that is not only linked to the killer, but can also hold the key to unlocking the dark mystery behind his, their lost homeland. That sounds very interesting. Not at all what I thought this book was going to be about, but... I like it. It sounds good. I'm definitely excited to give it a go. As for the cover, it looks like, it looks pretty similar to me. Oh, it looks like the regular book had like flowers and stuff in the background and the outfit version does not. So I'm not really sure why they took it off, but that's what they did. <laughs> The last full box is the Alcrate Junior box. The theme for this month is Schools of Wonder. We have this little cute little bag. I believe, yeah, it comes out and it becomes a pencil case, which is friggin' awesome if you ask me. Um, so yeah, you can then scoot it back up to keep your pencils out. And then when you're ready to seal it back up and pack it away, you do that and then you zip it up and it's a pencil case. That's really awesome. I actually love this idea. I've seen somebody else do a pencil case like this and I think that it's friggin' genius. To go alongside your pencil case, you have a little notebook says, learn the wondrous arts of the accomplished wondersmith. I do love anything inspired by uh, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. This is a little like notepad situation where you can pull off these notes. These are sticky notes and then these are little um, tabs, which is really cool. I love it. Uh, the front of it says the book of ghostly hours. Uh, if you have not read the series, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite middle grade series. It is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend and it's so good. 
We also have an extra book in here. This is the um, book by Ursula K. Le Guin, which is Earthsea, Wizard of the Earthseas. Uh, I have um, not heard good things about this book, but I'm definitely willing to give it a go. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't really know too much about it. It's a classic. I know that they're starting to put classics in the um, Alcoy Junior boxes to give kids a little bit more options to read newer and old older things. So I'll give it a go. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but you know, couldn't hurt. All right, we have an envelope here. Are you ever or and never? This is something inspired by the School for Good and Evil. Looks like it's a book protector. So you have these little holes and then you just slip your two sides of your book in here and then it protects the book. They are kind of fun. This is what it looks like ever and never. I have not yet read this series, but I've heard good things about it. There's also a pencil in here that says Science Action Club. I do not know what it's inspired by, but that is what it says. I'm going to lose that, so I'm going to put it on this side where there's no other trash and random things. And then we have the book and the spoiler card for next month and worms everywhere. All right, the spoiler card for next month is the theme for June is Campfire Stories. So that's what it looks like. Very cute. And the book is The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. Um, Danielle Clayton was at Y'all West, I believe. I did not get to meet her, but I did hear that she was there. Um, so that's really cool. There is the uh, collectible. This is number five. Ella Durand. These are really cute. I don't really do much with them. I don't really like collectibles that are like that, but I think they're cute to have if you're a collectible type of kid. It makes sense. Alrighty. This is what the book cover looks like. This is what the back looks like. It does have some really gorgeous end papers. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, and this is what the spine looks like there. 11-year-old uh, Ella Duran is the first conjurer to attend the Ark Kiam Training Institute, a magical school in the clouds where marvelers from all around the world practice their cultural art arts like brewing Indian spice elixirs and bartering with pesky Irish pixies. Despite her excitement, Ella's, Ella discovers that being the first isn't easy. Some marvelers mistrust her magic, which they deem bad and unnatural, but eventually she finds friends and an elixir teacher. She finds friends and the elixir teacher, Master Jai Thurukur, mm. and fellow misfit Bridget a girl who hates magic, and Jason, a boy whose fondness for magical creatures. When a dangerous criminal known as the Ace of Anarchy escapes prison, suddenly, with a conjurer's aid, tensions grow in the Marvillian world, and Ella becomes the target of suspicion. Worse, uh, Major, Master Thurkuer, I don't know how to say that, mysteriously disappears while away on a research trip. With the help of her friends and her own growing powers, Ella must find a way to clear her family's name and track down her mentor before it's too late. Another cute middle grade. I do love a good middle grade. I need to read more of these. Um, so I'm excited for that one. Spoiler card. We have the uh, Ursula K. Le Guin book. Um, the reverse fabric book cover is inspired by The School for Good and Evil. The magical pop-up case is um, designed by Team Alcrate. The memory spell mood pencil is inspired by The Worst Witch. Uh, Ghostly Hours reading kit is inspired by Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. And then we have the book. So let's get into our very last box. This one should be quick and easy. I have my last Fairy Loot adult uh, book only box. I have not received my Fairy Loot box for this month. So um, I have to wait and do that one in a vlog or something. But I'm glad to have this one. Looks like the book theme for this month is uh, Into the Shadows. I just saw what the book is. So I now have a duplicate. <laughs> Does have black sprayed edges again. Apparently black sprayed edges are in. And it is, of course, The Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, we just talked about it. I don't know too much about this one. I do love the end papers on this one, though. So stunning. Very gorgeous. And then it is a very gorgeous, um, like, a uh, waxy cover. It does not have, like, that cloth feeling. But this is what the front looks like. The spine and the back has a very, very, very long quote. There's always been something wrong with Charlie Hall. Crooked from the day she was born. Never met a bad, never met a bad decision. She wasn't willing to double down on had fingers made for picking pockets, a tongue for lying, and a shriveled cherry pit for a heart. It does sound good. It does sound good. So, you know, I was saying I didn't need a duplicate copy, and now I have one. Oh, the end papers are different on this side. Very pretty. 
So thank you again to Theralu and Alcrate for sending me these boxes. Let me pick up all the books so you can see them. Alrighty, here are all the books that came in those boxes and the wonderful sprayed edges that came along with it. Look at all those black sprayed edges. We love to see it. Again, thank you to Alcrate and Fairy Loot. I'm very excited to add these to my collection and hopefully I will get out of my reading slump and actually read some of these sometime soon. Okay, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them. If you have these subscription boxes and which books you're most excited for, please do let me know all of your thoughts. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Baby, turn it down like a sweet and ready Boys are keeping nice and steady